will you light the Christmas candle? My pleasure. And Allison will read the prayer. Tell the good news of peace on earth. Lord, bring us today into Christ's peace. All God's people shout, Amen. Amen. Angels dance and the bright star shines. All creation bows to the Lord of all. Lord, bring us today into Christ's light. All God's people shout, Amen. Amen. One with us yet born to save. He will show us the way to God. Lord, bring us today into Christ's love. All God's people shout, Amen. Amen. People of God, shout and sing, Alleluia, Alleluia. Amen. Amen. Welcome to Midnight Mass here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in San Luis Obispo, California. It's Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Whoever you are and wherever you are on your spiritual journey, St. Stephen's welcomes you. And wherever you are in the world, welcome to the celebration of the incarnation of God coming into the world as Jesus Christ to spend this time with us, to get to know us and to understand us that we might have salvation through him. And that is what we celebrate today. So as we begin, blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin. 
Grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with you in the same spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. A reading from Paul's letter to Titus. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, 
and in the present age to live lives that are controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all inequity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them at the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy, for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you, and you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. 
And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. Shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph, Mar Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be, with, be ours this night. Amen. Happy Coronavirus Christmas. I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. Uh, but it's coronavirus, and 2020 has been a litany of bad news of great pain for all the people. Well, the Bible and the lectionary don't care about coronavirus, and we still hear the angels proclaim to the shepherds, and therefore to us, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. Great. You're saying that the coronavirus is over? Oh, come on. Be honest. You may have not said it out loud, but some part of you asked for the end of the pandemic for Christmas, like you did at Thanksgiving, and at Labor Day, and at Fourth of July, and at Memorial Day, and at Easter. Remember when we thought there was a slim chance that we would be back in the pews for Easter Sunday? Yes, it's been tough, but it's Christmas, and Christmas did not get canceled. How could it? 
You can't take away from me the fact that God came into the world as Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, Emmanuel, God with us. You can't take away from me the expectation of Jesus' return. And even more importantly, you can't take away from me that the incarnation was God's opportunity to experience what humanity experiences. This was the greatest gift ever, and it is what we need more than ever during this pandemic and all of the other horrific events of 2020. We need Christmas more than ever. We need Emmanuel, God with us. God is here. Emmanuel, God with us. We may not see God's presence among us like we want to, but rest assured the incarnate, in, incarnate Jesus is here, and he knows our suffering. What were the angel's first words? Do not be afraid. And then I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. The good news was Emmanuel, God with us, for all people. For all the people. We heard on our journey toward this moment, toward Emmanuel, God with us, through, very four, four, through four very different cultural lenses during Advent. And if you didn't join us for worship and didn't hear the sermon series, they are archived on our Facebook page and our YouTube page. The subtext of those sermons was that not all people are hearing this good news, nor are they experiencing great joy, and our national cultural framework is one of the elements responsible for that. So tonight, we need to somehow bring to our celebration of Emmanuel God with us to those whose pain and suffering are not soothed this evening. We know the good news of great joy for all people, and since we know the whole story of Jesus in the Gospels, we as Christians are to take on the role of the angels played tonight. We are the ones who are to bring the good news of great joy, the good news of Emmanuel, God with us, to those for whom Jesus, for whom Jesus breaks the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. When we go from here, we somehow need to help change the lives of the suffering so they truly know the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Our work as Christians in this community needs to be a part of God's authority, steering us toward the establishment and upholding of justice and righteousness for all the people. You'll remember on Christ the King back in November, I told you to be on the lookout for this theme of all the people at Christmas, and here it is. And we can be a part of bringing this good news to those who are not experiencing it because of what we celebrate tonight, because we know Emmanuel, God with us. It is because of the event we are celebrating this evening that God knows our plight, the plight of every woman, child, man, of every race, language, and nation. And God empowers us through the Holy Spirit to help others know and feel that good news of great joy. Christmas did not get canceled. How could it? No one, no virus can take away from us the fact that God came into the world as Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, Emmanuel, God from us. No one, no virus can take away from us that the incarnation was God's opportunity to experience what humanity experiences. This coronavirus Christmas, God knows what we are going through. God knows our suffering because of that first Christmas. Emmanuel, God with us, is the greatest gift this particular Christmas. Emmanuel, God with us, is the good news of great joy for all the people. Merry Christmas. Let us confess our faith in the source of the good news of great joy for all the people. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. 
We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to God, the Creator, who has sent us the Word made flesh and has breathed life into the world. O oh God, in this holy night, your Son, our Savior, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this holy night, there was no room for your Son at the end. Protect with your love those who have no home those who live and work away from home, and all who live in poverty. Holy God, hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. In this holy night, Mary, in the pain of labor, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand those who find the joyous time difficult and painful, those who suffer in body, mind, and spirit, and all who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this holy night, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness, bring comfort to those affected by natural disasters, those who suffer as a result of economic injustice, and all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this holy night, the angels sang, peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this holy night, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this holy night, strangers found the holy family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless all in this place, in this city, and all whom we love. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this holy night, heaven has come down to earth, and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all those who have passed through death, those who will die this night, and those who will die alone. Keep them in the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this holy night, Christians around the world celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this holy night, the Holy Family was surrounded by humble servants. Guide us to be grateful and compassionate to all who serve, that we may share the celebration of Christmas and the Christ child with them. Holy God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this holy night, angels and shepherds worshiped at the manger. Receive the worship we offer you, O God, in the fellowship of Mary, Joseph, Stephen, and all the saints, through him it, who is your word made flesh, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And peace to those in the room with me in the sanctuary here. Cassie, happy midnight mass, and peace to you, and Janice, and Stephanie. Thank you, Father Jim. So, Merry Christmas to everyone. Not very many announcements, except get your candles ready. If, if you received a 
Christmas worship packet from St. Stephen's. You will have a candle in it, so get that ready. Um, and uh, Merry Christmas to you all. Uh, this is Midnight Mass. Uh, tomorrow morning is Christmas Day, and um, we will be having worship on Sunday. So, um, you know, tonight's Thursday night, tomorrow's Friday, and then Sunday we will have Christmas One service, same time, same place, 10 a.m. on Sunday. Through Christ, let us continually offer to God the sacrifice of praise that is the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name.
as we offered these gifts and praised God for them, I would just like to say, as is our custom at Christmas, Easter, and St. Stephen's Day, we try to use local handcrafted bread and wine for the sacrament. And today our bread comes from Back Porch, Back Porch, I can't say that word, Back Porch Bakery up in Paso Robles, and our wine comes from also from North County at Halter Ranch in Paso Robles. And it's got a unique name that has a connection here um, throughout California, really, and throughout this county. We have a giant oak tree in our parking lot that is absolutely beautiful and stunning and well over 100 years old. It was probably here when the building was built, so it makes it over 150 years old. And we also have um, acorns in every single one of our windows, which is not, it's so obvious that it's not obvious. So next time you're in the building, look for the acorns in our stained glass windows. But the name, I'll turn it over to Cassie to give us a little history of the name of this wine from Halter Ranch. Thank you, Father Ian. Yes, this wine is from Halter Ranch in the northwest uh, part of Paso Robles, and its name is The Ancestor. And it's named for the giant oak tree on their property, which spans over 500 feet in diameter and is also over 500 years old. It's the oldest living oak uh, recorded in the state of California. And thank you for bringing that for us. And so we can offer what human hands have made out of the gifts that God have, has given us and offer them back to God. One moment, please. Oh, it's already on. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It, we praise you and we bless you, holy and gracious God, source of life abundant. From before time you made ready the creation. Your spirit moved over the deep and brought all things into being, sun, moon, and stars, earth, winds, and waters, and every living thing. You made us in your image and taught us to walk in your ways. But we rebelled against you and wandered far away. And yet, as a mother cares for her children, you would not forget us. Time and time again, you called us to live in the fullness of your love. And so this day, we join with saints and angels in the chorus of praise that rings through eternity, lifting our voices to magnify you as we sing. honor and praise to you, holy and living God, to deliver us from the power of sin and death and to reveal the riches of your grace. You looked with favor upon Mary, your willing servant, that she might conceive and bear a son, Jesus, the holy child of God. Living among us, Jesus loved us. He broke bread with outcasts and sinners, healed the sick, and proclaimed good news to the poor. He yearned to draw all the world to himself, yet we were heedless of his call to walk in love. Then the time came for him to complete upon the cross the sacrifice of his life and to be glorified by you. On the night before he died for us, Jesus was at table with his friends. He took bread, gave thanks to you, broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. As supper was ending, Jesus took the cup of wine. Again, he gave thanks to you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Now gathered at your table, O God of all creation, and remembering Christ crucified and risen, who was and is and is to come, we offer you our gifts of bread and wine, 
and ourselves a living sacrifice. Pour your spirit upon these gifts that they may be the body and blood of Christ. Breathe your spirit over the whole earth and make us your new creation, the body of Christ given for the world you have made. In the fullness of time, bring us with St. Stephen, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and all your saints from every tribe and language and people and nation to feast at the banquet prepared from the foundation of the world. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, to you be honor and glory and praise, now and forever. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. A spiritual communion is a personal devotional that anyone can pray at any time to express their desire to receive Holy Communion at that moment, but in which circumstances impede them from actually receiving the sacrament. So let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As we come to our moment of Eucharistic adoration, we will sing Silent Night. And you will, receive, well, you will have received that candle if you received a worship packet from St. Stephen's. And with that, you will re have received the name of a family member of St. Stephen's. So as you light your candle and gaze upon the sacrament, please say a prayer for that person and know that somebody is praying for you.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with this spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. This is my favorite blessing, and I only get to say it a couple times a year. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, the peace of, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Alleluia, we have seen his glory, the glory revealed to all the nations. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.